All right. Well, this next segment is brought to you by Emerald City Jewelers. We're joined this morning by Sherry. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, if you can't tell that Tegan and I are oogling, it's because <laughs> our table this morning is filled with diamonds. Mm, Sherry, tell nice. us a little bit about diamonds. them. Diamonds. <laughs> Well, diamonds are always a perfect gift, though, so I thought that that would be a good topic to talk about this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, we brought out samples of different necklaces, earrings, and bracelets, and rings. Uh, this display here has the different shapes. There's princess, the emerald cut, the marquee, the round, and the oval. Wow. And so that's just a few samples. So let's, okay, for some of us who just, myself included, or maybe a man who's shopping for a special woman <laughs> in his life, um, we, I don't always know the difference between diamonds, and I guess that's what makes uh -huh. you the expert. So what kind of things do you need to yeah. look at when you're shopping for diamonds? First of all, you need to go to somebody who, it's their profession, mm -hmm. an, an expert, because if you try and educate yourself, and I mean, you should be a little educated, but have somebody help you with your choice. We have lots of examples at the store. We can find out where your budget is and what you want to say with that gift, whether you want it just to be a promise ring or whether you want it to be an engagement ring. If you want to give somebody an anniversary gift, a diamond earrings or a necklace. Uh, this little necklace here is a little diamond arrow. Um, arrows are kind of an interesting necklace. It's an item of jewelry. They're using that now for people that maybe have been through a rough time where as the bow draws back, the arrow's pulled back a little mm -hmm. bit, but when it lets go, the arrow jumps forward or you know, really excels and so it's a way that you can think about the positive things of what you've been through and how you're going to move forward through things. And I think that's interesting mm -hmm. too that mm -hmm. you know jewelry doesn't necessarily always have to be a celebration of a specific event but it can mm -hmm. be looking forward or even mm -hmm. remembering something uh, of significance. It's, an, it's a, a piece of jewelry that goes on for generations. Mm -hmm. You know diamond jewelry is something that you'll be able to pass on to your your children and your grandchildren and your great-grandchildren Every diamond tells a story. We can, we've got the Museum of um, Named Diamonds where you can put a story about your diamond on the internet and it'll go on forever. Wow. And that's kind of wow. a nice thing. You can uh, go to our website and learn about that. Also, we have lab-created diamonds at the store. Just like an orchid that grows in nature is the same as an orchid that grows in a greenhouse, mm -hmm. lab-grown diamonds are, are diamonds. They're just grown in a laboratory. So wow. they're yeah. very beautiful, they're a little bit less price than a diamond that's grown in the earth and mm -hmm. um, I do think that it's probably not going to be something that's going to grow in value because it is a manufactured piece yep. just like any piece of equipment and I, you know all of your equipment like your phones you know those sort of things get a little bit less expensive as they get better at making them but um, it's a piece of jewelry that if you want to save some money now and you don't expect to ever sell it or get rid of it you might as well save some money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. All right, sure. They're just Take, sparkly. Tiggins you know, just slowly letting her mouth water. That's fine. All right, well, we want to thank Emerald City Jewelers for coming in this morning and showing off some shiny goods. We've got more KHQA this morning coming up in just a couple minutes.